All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, uh, normally, honestly, I would have waited a couple more weeks. I would have found a way to fit this into uh, uh, something special, but I don't want, you know, I don't want to let anybody down. So I'm gonna check it out. Uh, it does not fit into my uh, Aussie tribute, so it's just gonna stand alone. Money game. Uh, I, I read a couple uh, comments. I assumed it was, you know, I mean. Uh, with everything I've said about fiat and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I got a good clue. It's cool. It's a strange time we're living in. Woke and put fear in. Hierarchy parties, they make us feel inferior. Read one through. Parliament interiors, devils walk among us, they fit the criteria, eerie, theory, stripe, fearing, weary, minded men when we're clearly living in dictatorships, nearly blinded by illusions to choose, but who's fooling who? A pull chain to your shoes, I'm pain. It's a crying shame, the pursuit of our own wealth lights a flame and makes greed the game, the less this whole world burn, as the world turns, the whole world burns. But money yeah. was invented for trade, but now those bits of paper twist hearts, make slave turns. Us What's that trade? I I mean, and I don't mean no disrespect to Ren, but I was, I I would have waited till I was in a better mood, right? Until I was in a better place, uh, wanting to do this, uh, and then have Ange. But uh, um, you know, I, I was it the tally stick, uh, uh, the the money history going. You know, I mean, you wanna. You want to go deep dive? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure the um, uh, Friday the 13th and the uh, the uh, what the hell are they called? You know what I'm talking about? Pretty sure it was because they had the money and they could cover the insurance. It's sort of like uh, insurance uh, uh, deposit insurance. Um, I just can't think of their uh, names right now. It's weird. Uh, they became the Illuminati. <laughs> um, but my point is, from the tally stick to, was it a puka shells or shiny trinkets, it turns out the one concept the world, I don't believe the world will ever grasp, is doing something for free for everyone. Um, they could, we could barely grasp doing stuff for free for ourselves. Uh, uh, working for others for nothing would be a, a tough call so I'm guessing I'm just I'm curious what form of exchange it'll be now I know it's gonna be a social credit score based to carbon and a bunch of other shit like that let's see what we get with here it's greed the game the less this whole war burn as the world turns the whole world burn but money was invented for trade But now those bits of paper twist hearts make slave turns a saint into a sinner a child into a killer his finger on the trigger of a money game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. But then what would make you go to work? So I take myself, for example. I haven't been to a doctor in 17 something years, going on two decades. So free insurance wouldn't entice me. Even if it was free, I wouldn't go. I don't need a doctor sticking their finger up my ass for no reason whatsoever. I'd rather just let that fail and deal with it. Um, uh, I don't want someone else to pick my possessions, my home, my location, so I would need, you know what I mean? That's where it just is a dilemma for me because I actually, uh, the Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, um, it, it turns out, uh, I guess you could just let the government be the capitalist and dole it out like um, with the perceived idea of equality. But then as a guy who can look at the whole planet now, <clears throat> that narrative seems to be falling apart. It doesn't seem like the planet wants to embrace anything close to equality. It seems like the planet wants to embrace revenge. So then I would totally fear the system controlling um, my means to an end. Uh, what if they decided, oh, I didn't like that. You, don't, you can't eat today. Yeah, I prefer a more uh, trade barter or some sort of system where I can go out and uh, 
go around someone telling me what I can and can't do and just purchase it myself, even if I have to access the black market. So and I just I think it's all complicated. Pretty sure I agree with the, the core context here, but I just think it's uh, um, we can cry about, but what are we going to do? Um, there is no, it, it was funny because we're just watching this, the guy who, the one influencer who like cured a bunch of, you know, paid for their eye surgeries and the other influencer crying, but mostly because, well, that should be for everybody. That's not realistic, even when the system controls it all. The top gets all the good treatment and the bottom. I mean, come on. If we break this down to class, uh, uh, the, which I think it always has been, it's always been a, um, a wealth class battle, then it's an illusion. The poor are supposed to die. The rich are supposed to get our fucking organs. A saint into a sinner, a child into a killer. His finger on the trigger of a money game. Oh, rain, 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 a storm it comes our way, and those who rise through distorted lies, poison in the veins, but we die to put in the blame, 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 it's easy and to blame, but point the mirror at ourselves, we're all part of this old money game, stop, oh yeah. Uh, before I get any goofier, uh, nothing but respect. Ren actually reached out, watched the last one, and, and dropped us a comment. So I got respect. Do I go way beyond I'm going to just be in awe of this? Hell yeah. And being it kind of got moved up on me, I'm going to double down and go hard. But... Whew, your visuals, your uh, the sound, the idea... I am, I'm a, I'm already there. And I like the other project you got too, the cover. The, I only heard the one song, but uh, nothing but respect. If it feels otherwise, it's not. I just, I think we should and must be allowed to talk about the parts that resonate through everyone, the parts that are uncomfortable to everyone, and the parts that no one wants to look at. Then, with full examination of everything, we can probably uh, uh, collectively make better decisions. That's just a personal, <clears throat> as always, right? So I'm just, ooh, I know I'm going off. So um, I just want to be clear. It doesn't mean to, here is the link. If you've never heard this song, go, I'll wait. All right? Go. Check it out. Listen to it a few times. Okay, I assume you're back. I like that joke. Okay, and then I laugh, and I don't actually think it's a... Uh, Here's the game I'd like to play. I laugh because of the moment, the breaking the still. But if I wanted to examine it at a next level, I would think it's not a happy. It's almost uh, the, the emphasis on, you know, I'm going to put on the rubber gloves, beat you after death, start playing. So my laugh is not, uh, is disconnected. Uh, breaking of the moment, not, especially because I just noticed that gas can in the back and I'm really really having a reservoir dogs dancing around with an ear in my hand moment right now. Ah, and this ooh ah -wee thing really works better than the first time because I didn't have the taste of that WEF uh, jazz ensemble right, you know, ringing in my ear. I didn't mean any disrespect last time. It was just, you know, I was, it connected to something else. No artist music stands alone on this channel. That's for other channels. Uh, this song just adds to a long list of experiences that might make my life possibly have more value. <laughs> 
Like I said, it's a, the, the gloves actually kick off what would, for all intents and purposes, in a movie with different musical score, be a torture scene. So, damn. Dear Mr. President, it's evident that everyone's a resident of fear when they support these ideas to keep us separate. When they make us believe that everybody is coming to terrorize you in the streets, they say proudly through grit and teeth. That's my right to hate. That's freedom of speech. But when did freedom become a reason to hate? A way to justify a racist slur or insult we make? There's an irony in freedom, cause us in the West We have pillaged and put in the murder that savages call on that sort of the rest That's called hypocrisy Preach a certain value that you never keep yourselves Your country was in flames, you denigrate yourselves in a second Still you spit your venom, demonizing immigrants When really you're the immigrant Cause all of us are immigrants or descended from immigrants Irony is yeah. imminent Now, much respect if you're um trapped in this I, I don't actually feel, so I feel like we're all enslaved by the powers that want to be. And they technically don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I live in a place where, you know, you can't have your kid dig cobalt in a mine. And uh, outside of the tobacco loophole, which sucks, I don't like that they're, uh, they got that artisan farmer loophole in tobacco. I know. I mean, I'll admit the hypocrisy. As far as I know, you can get the kids to pick that shit because they use that artisan loophole. I don't think that's right. But then I don't think the planet actually sees that on a... Uh, I just see them uh, willing to exploit whatever group is willing to be exploited until they stand up and push back. Now, that's a personal opinion. I'm not saying I'm right. But I mean, at, at you know 50 plus, I've been watching what younger people cry about my whole life. And it seems like a par for the course deal, right? Like <clears throat> without the exploitation and the conflict, it doesn't want to go around. Uh, I hate to use the matrix, but I, I really think their uh, utopian model explanation makes sense because so many of us are steeped in psychopathy. I'm just crazy. Given the opportunity to shit in the middle of the street, it's only the crazy ones of us who will shit in the middle of the street. Not, I'm misunderstanding that process and it means some sort of liberation. Average people steeped in natural law would go behind the tree. They're like, yeah, that's not something I'm going to share with people. But that's also personal opinion. But I'm just saying, there's... I'm going by, let's say, where extreme um, progressive policies have been enacted in my own country. And, uh, well, the answer to the problems is you're not allowed to talk about the problems. Well, doesn't that just perpetuate more problems? Now, are there sins of the father that people are still mad about? Shit, yeah. Shit, yeah. But, I mean, like, I can only use myself, right? You got three generations at least got are so far removed from any of this shit. Then what? What? At what point? How far back are we supposed to go? How do we fuel that time machine of hate and rage? Really, you're the immigrant because all of us are immigrants or descended from immigrants. Irony is... Actually, if everything's correct, we're all, you know, either... Uh, you know, genetically engineered spawn of the Sumerian uh, alien gods, or you know, you know that the Darwinian shit. There you go. There's the two things I buy into. Crossbreeded slave race that went bad on its master. What's that? The um, Gilgameshian text, or you know that uh, that. Uh, uh, Darwinian uh, evolution adaptation. I'm cool. I don't know how many versions of pre-man they found, pre-human, pre-homo sapien, whatever the hell floats your boat, but it's quite a few, right? I don't got a problem with the missing link not being there. I don't have to throw it into the realms of mysticism. 
That's why I listed Gelgameshian text, right? It can go either way. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, I, I think it's good. I just, I don't, this part, the, the colonialization part is just steeped in a lot of guilt, I think. And I don't know. I, I the, I, my, the son of a father of another father who were nothing but laborers for the last, uh, you know, hundred years. And no fucking blame put on that shit. Maybe all the workers should actually unite and get rid of the, um, the middle management that ruins it. And then they should have a say. I'm just saying. We want to change. I've always said it's going to be from the bottom up. Going to have to, going to have to neuter the top to ensure the bottom stops going crazy. But you know, I don't know. Oof, this is. Oh, I wish it wouldn't have been so heavy. He's given an. I'll shed the light on immigrants. America was colonized by Britain. Britain, it was colonized by Rome. And also colonized by the Saxons. They were German, by the way. You know how people throw shade upon the Germans because of history's pain, and yet... They do? Oh. I thought that was a note in history books. Why? Once again, do people live in that? Do they live in, like, I gotta somehow go back and make get revenge for that shit? Once again, there's why I believe we have repeating history. Because if you're just waiting for your great-grandson to take revenge for you, shit will never change. We made the same mistakes all the game Demonize a whole people Jewish or Muslim The same and the same Old situations play on repeat Oh yeah, I don't, I don't I actually think those two groups Are going to be the final I think they get to inherit the earth And then they get to battle it out In another hundred years And that's the tides I see So I mean, I think western civilization Has been thrown to the to wolves I mean, I'm it's totally okay to demonize it and watch it burn, so I'm guessing people are going to watch it burn. Uh, I'm, you know, holding my breath till the blowback starts. It's a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old oh. Situation. oh, and I would give uh, the Middle East through the Greek, so from, right, the Mesopotamian Valley up to the Greek, uh, credit for all of Western civilization. I don't know why that's complicated. What, does everybody think it's the fucking Vikings? What, are they high? Maybe they should teach history in school again. Takes all the game. Demonize a whole people, Jewish or Muslim, the same and the same. Old situations play on repeat. The same old TV shows repeat. Yeah, we worship the bleak. Our opinions are our own and we follow like sheep. There's no left, there's no right. In the middle we sleep. Rain, 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 rain. The storm it comes Fire. our way And those who rise through distorted lies Poison in the veins But we'd like to point the blame, 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 blame It's easier to blame But point the mirror at ourselves We're all part of this own money oh, yeah. game The upbeat tune plus the um, uh, psychological and psychological plus fig, uh, physical torture aspect of the video is amazing. Uh, from a movie perspective, right? It would be it'd be very powerful. Um, uh, and I love uh, juxtapositioning when you can uh, you know address maybe a harsh image versus a happy sound, and the uh, conflict that it, it arises in oneself is very interesting. I like it. Here the irony is uh, for this complete video production, he still got that guitar plugged in. Weird. This old money game. <laughs> oh, it's harsh. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This old money game. I like it. Ren, your videos are amazing. Your ideas, I don't know if it's you and a producer, a producer, what you got going. If it's you, you have good, uh, you have a good eye, good, uh, right? This is good stuff. It really is. 
Um, I'm not afraid to share my personal opinions, even if they could be wrong. But I, I like to give credit where credit's due, and I think the video is very powerful, very cool, uh, in its starkness. Right? You do, you don't need much because I think, I think the horrors implied, and then the lyrical content if they're not you know following along, and uh, I've explained because this music is real new to the channel. I just grew up in a very I guess progressive. I didn't, I I didn't see no fucking hate. Sorry. Sorry, that's a product of movies and TV and news. It's never been around my real life. And it's just, I just hasn't. And I don't, it's not, I'm not saying I don't understand that some exists. I just, from a personal perspective, I didn't live in this world. I don't live in this world. I've never, people are just the same. It's the merit of their life's worth that makes them special or not special. Um, never, never had a birthright thing in, in, in my surroundings, right? So no one was special just because they existed. They, they're special because of who they were and what they offered and brought to the deal. Now, I'm not saying existence is worthless. Of course not. But I just didn't learn this. Uh, they're special. They're not special. This... It wasn't like that. It was all work and work ethic. And, you know, the, the people that surrounded us were all just people who worked and, you know, were normal people, I guess. Now, as of today's day and age, no, I guess that's somehow some for sort of fucking hatred because I didn't know something. But that's bullshit because it didn't, it wasn't there. So I don't have to project that into my life. I can say, I hope we stop repeating history over and over and over again. But I can also admit that I think we have a very rough path on that. Hey! It's a Chekhov's gun. If you introduce a can of fuel somewhere in a scene, you damn well better use the can of gas somewhere in the scene. I, I hate it. I hated noticing that right away just because, you know, it kind of let me knew he's going to, you know, imply burning dude alive. That brings it right over the top on the harshness scale. This reminds me of uh, uh, modern day, what is that, modern day rut? I think that's a bend down. And the whole thing is like back, backwoods, uh, <clears throat> lynchings oh it's horrible drag behind a truck the whole oh it's horrible hell of a video hell of a video this makes me and i don't like doing this so just in case ren checks this one out i, I don't like making comparisons like that right i'm getting hints of that shit i'm I, I think this is your product i don't you know i'm not saying oh it's that but definitely some uh I see some inspiration. I'm probably wrong, but it sure is very good. Very good. Powerful, good. Oh no, I did. Okay, I thought you're. Oh. Oh yeah. Are you actually getting this shit live as you film it? Cause that's amazing. If you are, I'm very impressed. Then, cause it'd be wired up. I mean, most people just pulling off a, a you know a product. They don't. They don't bother. Very interesting. Uh, I, I feel you're going to self-emulate here, so I don't know. I think that's the right word. See, the unfortunate thing is I've had to, I, I've, I've, you know, had to see that monk since um, I was a kid. Right? So I, I, I watched that, um, the Vietnam protest, right, since I was a little kid. And um, 
I mean, people still be doing this shit, so I'm just saying. That's a bold move. Um, I would rather go after the elites who uh, enslave us than, you know, kill myself for the cause. But that's just me. As I said, I'm waiting for blowback. Yeah. Oh, that's the same lotus position from the... Yeah, no, that's classic. Harsh, but classic. Yeah, that's harsh. That's hardcore. Uh, bold and thought-provoking. And uh, uh, from the obvious 26 minutes of rambling, obviously thought-provoking. Now, I believe it's 100% right to, to discuss all of these positions. I don't fall on the exact side of the fence. Um, like I said, I am a, a positive of a, a class elitist, right, uh, Top versus the bottom is what I really think it is. Now, I'm no expert. I'm no nobody. I certainly don't create thought-provoking content like this. So, who knows? Uh, I accept all the but buttons I pushed, but I don't think I've insulted the artist or uh, the position. I think it's a fine position. I think it's actually a very strong position and worth worthy of debate. So, but I, I, you know, don't believe in silence in anything. So, wow. Ren, money game. <sighs> I hope that's what you were looking for. Not, not the artist, but uh, the requester. Bye.